Okay. Oh boy, it's humpback zone. <laughs> oh, is there missile predictions? Yo, let's go. We're predicting missile counts in the chat because it's humpback zones. <laughs> this is a Splatoon World Championship hosted by Area Cup, which features Starburst, the best North American team, Alliance Rogue, the best European team, and six of the best Japanese teams. The highlights for the first three top eight matches are going to be on my second channel if you want to check it out. But to catch up to where we are now, Alliance Rogue lost. 2-0, and so did two of the other Japanese teams, which means the only Western representative left is Starburst. To advance to the top four, they'll need to be at a talented Japanese team with one of the best H3 players in the world. So let's hop into that set and see if they can win. Also, I was watching this live at 3 a.m., so I had to be a little bit quiet. Going with pretty standard comps on both sides. Starburst with an actual tag. Let's get trying to push up. Gonna be a little bit careful trying to team up with Bran. Nice kill on the H3. That armor is gonna be super late. That H3 already had like no charge for it, just seven. And they died to try to push in, but it looks like it actually worked out for them. They were able to pin Biscuit into the corner. Ooh, and that Gal wall. Ooh, they're gonna have to back up. That Gal's gonna pin. And Bran not able to fight it. Ice tries, but too late, and ooh. Good play from the Gal there. Nice push. Well, they popped armor to deal with Ice's Ray, which is actually pretty good. The Ray won't find a pick, but they had to waste two specials early. I don't like Starburst using the bomb rush early, but it clears enough space. They have to go in with this armor, though. And luckily, they find a pick on the Sea Jet. There's the cap. There's three down. Let's go, dude. Starburst winning the fight, and they're going to kill the bucket. They burned the Gal. Ooh, that's a huge ray kill from Ice. That's going to make him take longer. And the H3 dies to bombs. It has missile to support it. Bran seems to be the target there, but he lives! And they have so much space here, the bomber's just gonna give them time. Bran in the middle of things, but he stays alive. Biscuit going for a fight on the bucket. Oop. The bucket gets the kill, though. It's even fight right now. Ice has to get this kill. Bagel with the support. They get it, but the zone does flip. The fight's still happening, but it looks like Starburst will be able to win and stagger the enemy team. Missiles come in to save him. Perfect timing there. Bran finds one. Bran can find another here. That player is weak. He needs help, though. He wants to take it safe. And there it is. There's the support from his team. It happens to be a trade, though. The H3 gets help from the custom jet. But two of them are dead. The jet can't use his ray anymore. He has to paint zone. That stingray is basically non-usable here. They have to cap, and there we go. Starburst puts the Western team on the board. <laughs> Actually, very minimal changes. I thought they were going to go with the ball point here. Rain is so good on this map mode, and so is Beacons, but no. Ooh, but they lost Snipe very early on since Ice had a jump and Brand goes down. They're all in the middle of nowhere. I feel like they have to jump out or they have to hard come into a fight here. Looks like they're going to do the ladder. They kill the H3. They have Armor Ray. Actually really smart there. Ice getting out to use Stingray and then immediately taking that fight, even with a disadvantageous position. The special advantage just was too much. More teamwork there. Picks off the try and the Gal again. Oh, but the H3 clutches it out, though. They're gonna get that ray late. It's gonna be a lead flip, but honestly, I think it's better they let the lead flip. Oh, but they're not gonna defend. I was gonna say the lead flip might be better so they can get the special advantage that defenders get, but is it worth this much damage? Probably not. Ooh, and the double hit on the try. Another hit. Bagel low. Wait, the try? Oh, trying to help out. The jet staying alive, trying to heal, but the jet isn't healed. Now he's healed, but now it's probably too late. He's not even going to get a pick. They go down. This is the worst the JP situation has been in. Except dig my clutch. He goes down. Ooh, not able to find it, though. They need to kill this gal. They need to kill this gal right now before he gets the tower. He's right behind it. Ray is coming out. There's a ton of bombs, but the flank... Bran gets two, but they can't get the tower. He almost clutches it, but it's just not enough. They're going to Wahoo World Zones. That's the counter pick. Okay, and ice on the charger. There we go. That's their plan. Put ice on the charger. I like it. Really good double bomber map. And ice is going to have a lot of freedom here until... Ray. Oh, I'm nervous for them, dude. I'm nervous for them. I'm not even playing. Ooh, Dig with a nice play to kill the bomb rush, and they're behind them. They painted over him so the suction would kill him. Very smart. They have to pick this H3. They do. 
Bagel stays alive. Oh, they might push Biscuit. No. The 52 is in the middle of two people, but he gets... No, he doesn't get away. I thought he almost did. He got behind Brand, but luckily they died there. Suction Rush on the right side, pushing up with the Charger Snipes. Oh, but real with no fear, considering he has that ink armor, gets the pick. And Bagel goes down too. Real is playing better each game. The Ray gets a pick again, dude. Every time this C-Jet Ray has been able to pick one of the members of Starburst, it's been so hard for them to survive it. With that being said, it might not matter that H3 dies, the Bombers maintains the zone. They had to use both their Bombers, but it might be worth it. This Booyah is actually a terrible idea. It manages to trade, which is better than it should have gone, but that's still a good trade. This is huge. Ice is set up trying to break that wall. Finds the perfect snipe. The ray is on him, but it means they can't paint the zone. They just have to paint over it, and they do it. Let's go, Starburst in top four. The first top four match is between Agodono and MGR. Oh, uh, did they boo you the ceiling, bro? Oh no, they booed the fucking sign. They showed that sign. Oh my god, they have one chance to push in and the Ray's not gonna get a single kill. And the missiles almost kill the jet. He's gonna drop on one HP. He's dead. They're all dead, but the bubbles flip it. Okay, Squeezer trying to help with the damage. Does end up trapping the K-Shaw for a pick. Squeezer versus Gal. Ooh, the bomb. Bubble. Oh, but not close enough for the kill. There's the ray. If it finds one, it forces the armor. It's not going to get a pick, but that armor is used so early. There's the bubbles. Squeezer has, or sorry, Jet Squatch for someone on one HP. Two of them are dead. Jet is going for a fight for no reason. And they lose the zone. That, that should have been a KO. They went way too aggressive. Oh no, this is bad. And they took a random fight while the zone was there. They have so little penalty. Look at that. They're already almost through it. They're gonna have to fight now. They're gonna have Ray and armor for it, though. But they have to cap. They have to flip the zone. The Ray is out. They cap the zone. Okay. That would have been a very sad choke if they lost that. Oh, they're gonna die. It's gonna be one more fight. And look at the penalty. It's like 26 points. That's it. We is ready early. Ray's there. Jet's dead. 52's dead. And I spoke too soon. They did choke it, and they're done. you did it again. Ooh, this flank behind them is good, but Melon just does not care. Sees the predictable drop. Not even a jump, just a drop predictable enough to immediately run up and punish. Mm, I don't think all three bubbles were needed. He could have had a third one to maintain, but they get the pick. Zap in the corner. They want to push him, but they're going to be so patient. That Booyah could trap the Zap, but the Zap on the other side is already dead. That Zap here needs to die. The Squeezer has to win this fight. And it does, but it's too late. The zone flips. The Squeezer gets another kill. But the Gal wall is going to be able to stop it. The missile's not landing in time to force him away from the wall. So luckily that'll allow him to get the fight. But he does still have to use the Booyah Bomb. You can see the difference. The B-Jet literally missiled and was able to get another. Well, the Zap had to get an entire armor. But they had to use armor, missile, and everything. Didn't find a pick. There it is on the Gal jump in. Didn't really work out super well. And Melon goes straight in. No wall needed. Melon does such a good job knowing when to save his wall so he can approach fast and more stealthily, and then use his wall after to keep himself alive in that aggressive position. It's that kind of playing around wall that makes Gal so strong. And I just don't think they have a way to get back in at this point. The Ray is just going to secure it. How many missiles you guys think we're getting today? We got double on both sides this time. Okay, Gal, ditto. And Melon just wins it. <laughs> Melon did a good job of swimming in between his shocks, trying to reset that RNG spread on the gal. He's actually doing a really good job. Oh, the bubble behind them here is big, but no. Melon with the quick kill time of the K gal has just been shutting down that bubble combo. The squeezer has to get this kill. The Ryu is dodging out of there. But the zap goes down, but the shot goes down. If the shot didn't die, this could be big. There's another trade. Oh, this is huge. I think they're gonna flip it. That's lead. The zap kills, but he's dead as a spot bomb. They're gonna have to cap. There are already two people dead. Melon has to get a kill. He gets it, but he can't cap it. It's not enough. And they're able to get a game. 
Oh. 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 Ah, uh, he might be the main character. He might be the main character. He just might be the main character. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. He might be the main character. <laughs> Oh my god, they're too dead. They have to go for tower and they're both on the side. That's it. That's the game. That's GG, bro. The next top four match picks the three 3,000 X power team against Starburst in a best of three set. Let's get into it. Here we go. Zone Starfish for the first game. We see a mini splatling. Double missile with the mini. Okay. One problem I see with that comp is a lot of short range, not a lot of painting range. That's what makes VJ plus K-Shot able to get so many missiles, and mini K-Shot does not have that luxury. What you do get from it, though, is a burst bomb. Specials here. First pick on a bagel, but the bomb immediately cleans it. Nagora gets a nice kill on a brand. Oh, but he's... Oh my god, there's no way he wins it. Okay, he goes down. Runs out of ink at the very end, I believe. Ooh, but they're not able to really push in. Oh, they're all dead. They didn't even flip zone. Didn't quite yet. Now they know where he is. Biscuit gonna try to push him, but oh. Ooh, that's a very valuable kill. Bombs are going onto the zone. They have to flip it. Brand's painting, but they don't have enough, do they? No, they don't. That's 100 zero. No, wait, no, it's not. Wait, what the f happened? Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, no, they're dead, though. The bomber has to flip it. And it's not going to. They have to win this fight. Brand gets one, but it's not enough. We are seeing a vanilla ball point and a vanilla squeezer. <laughs> They've already lost over 30 seconds to move the Rainmaker. But it looks like it might still be getting the points here. Bagel has to let them get more points here. Bagel has to kill it. There it is, but oh boy. Good Ray, two down. Early grab. They are pushing very fast off this. Uh, but the burst bombs actually pick Biscuit. The Rainmaker even kills the Squeezer. But Starburst goes two down. If just the Rainmaker died, it still would have been okay. Do you see him though? There's the Ray. But Ice wins the... Oh, he wins the ditto, but dies after. That's unlucky. Biscuit has to kill this inkjet. He does. Counter inkjet on the bagel. Oh, he hits it with one Rainmaker shot. And they kill it. I think Ice has to end his rain, grab rain, unless a bagel's got it. Bagel does. Nice. That allows Ice to get a pick. Two down. Ice weakens two. <gasps> that squeezer isn't useless. Ice doesn't get it. The rain. But he kills the Oh, no. Bran almost pops it, but he can't. Ice is doing a good job. He's not letting it get to him. He is continuing to play well. He gets another pick with the Ray. He gets another pick with the Ray. <laughs> they have to stay alive from the Ray. They have to take the slow, but they're going to have so little time to grab the Rain by the time it's done. But they live the Ray. The pack and armor come out. Ice might have to grab it here to keep it there. He's not going to be able to. It's going to reset. Oh, my God. Bagel has to live Ray. Biscuit is painting for him. The whole team is painting for Bagel to keep him alive. They all had to back off just for him to live the Ray. He has 30 seconds to make it all the way. The Ray needs to kill this inkjet. It does. Two go down. Three down. But the fucking squeezer clutches with the wall. Again! Yeah, Himajin's probably the main character of his team here. <laughs> oh, and the bombers from behind with the Rainmaker from the front. The Inkjet recalls at least to take off a little bit of pressure, but they're already too dead. Ray... Okay, nice. Please tell me they notice the ball points. Please tell me they don't all drop without grabbing. Please. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, thank you, Bagel. God, the life flashed before my eyes. That's the backline weapon, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, Biscuit's stuck there. Having a hard time finding their way into mid. There's two kills. The exhaust. Oh, they're too dead. They're gonna have to run. Ice gets picked. There's the armor for him in the K-Shot. Bombs in front of the Rainmaker. Only gets one point. 
That could have been a lot worse. Oh, and there's the bombers. Brand, you got this. Nice. Starburst can get mid now. There we go. Now they're set up. That's where we see them do well. There's the Ray. Two go down. One of them is stuck on Snipe in the wrong spot. Booyah, lead, KO. Let's go, Starburst. Ooh, Rapid Pro. They're going with the double wall comp. Opening pick is on Starburst's favor, though. Oh, Bagel getting direct- or Biscuit getting directed. Megora so good at the Rapid. And there's the gal already in their car. And that's what can make Reef lockouts hard. Either you dedicate resources to move them early and buy time for their team, or you ignore him and risk the flank. And it looks like they're going with the latter here. Rand gets picked by a bomb. And Bagel needs to jump out. Bagel's able to get out, but Biscuit's able to get out. They're going to regroup for one more fight. The double wall comp is best when it has control, though. If they can lock him out, it'll be huge. That jump RNG curves to the left. But it doesn't matter. Nagora clutches at the armor, comes out. They're too dead, though. They just have to paint the zone. Starburst has man advantage. The Zap gets a kill, though. Nagora is holding this down, but it's not enough. And I, honestly, I think that armor was a waste. And the jump in. I think the JP team actually has hard staggered themselves. Even the K shots here. They only bought a little bit of time on the zone, but was that worth going four down in extra time, wasting specials, and being fully down? Bomb Rush comes out on the bridge, armor comes out. Booyah is gonna push this gal into an uncomfortable spot. It's forcing the Booyah Bomb, but no picks happening yet. Ice is at a really good angle to paint the zone. The Zap goes down, the zones flip, but the Zap is dead first. Ice just gonna frontline the K shot with a V-Jet. And he hits the Rapid. Oh, barely doesn't get out of there, but Brand might be able to get that pick. No, the Rapid actually gets away with it. And there's the control, but Starburst getting some points on the board, knocking down their total score. So that's at least going to make it easier if they can get map again. Bagel pushes the Rapid off the bridge before jumping out. This push went too fast. They weren't ready. Ice has to stay alive. Biscuit kills one, but they're still too dead. Both sides have people down, but there's no specials ready for Starburst. They're going to add Missile and Booyah. They have to contest the zone, though. They're running out of time. Biscuit contests. He can get off the Booyah with the Missile and the Kevin. Okay. Very nice Missile, because his Booyah would have gotten shredded, but luckily everyone else just had to move for the Missiles. They're going to lose zone, but they still have a chance. They have armor. They're going to have every special at the ready. They're going to have four specials to push in here, but they're going to have double armor to defend. There's the second armor to keep the Rapid alive on the bridge. He's going to ditto the K-Shot, or the Splash, and the Splash dies. Too dead. They flip the zone, but it's just Bagel and Biscuit. They're trying to paint it here, but Biscuit has to jump out. Bagel needs to get out. He's going to be able to get out. No, he's not. The Rapid counter pick is doing work. Biscuit has to go in. He gets the kill. It's a trade, but he kills the most valuable player there to clear bridge. They're able to flip zones. Two of them are dead. They have to win a fight here. Bran doesn't get it. It's just Bagel. He can't do it, and that's the game. Oh, what a valiant effort, though. It was so close. Smart pick to Nagora. Gotta give props. That was excellent adaption from their team. Starburst had an excellent run against some amazingly strong teams. And now it's the grand finals of Agodono versus Resistance. Melon's team is obviously very thought to win. So I'd like to see the upset. And look at that. Immediately Nagora and Melon run into each other. The Giants already punished the Rapids still doing a pretty good job. It's a solid weapon at countering Siege. Yeah, specifically the long one, just because it can match the range and has the ability to peek around the corners. It's probably one of the best jobs of dealing with specifically V-Jet, because C-Jet just makes it a lot easier, but I really like the pick. If there's anything that's going to make Jet struggle as a backline option, it's going to be this weapon. Rapids able to poke the Jet out. The Jet's going to go for it. Ooh, I think that's a bad play. I think he's dead. No way he stays alive, dude. Okay. <laughs> they flipped the zone during all that, too. There's just been a lot of flips back and forth. Oh, nice kill with the Rapid. Everything's just been flipping a lot, except for that one fight where the Rapid helped get that pick. Ooh, the Zap on him, though, is going to pick him off. 
Clix does such a good job at knowing when to be aggressive with Zap. Probably the best at doing that in Japan. He's just so smart there. I really like watching his play because of that. I think that's where he really shines as a player. He knows how to go in without overextending. That's such a fine line with NZAP. That's the difficulty of the weapon at a top level. Oh, I don't like that drop, especially when he's so close to armor. But he just is gonna diff him. Nice kills. Getting the time of that long rapid down is so hard. That's why I rarely play it. I hate the small time difference. But it just goes to show when you have that timing down, the rap the long rapid is so strong. It's definitely the better of the two right now. Melon's down. I don't think they can get this. That is GG. Yup, there we go. Nice V-Jet pressure, or C-Jet pressure on the right. But the bomb on the gal wall. Melon with the amazing first kill of the game on Tariq. <laughs> oh, I kid, I kid. <laughs> and where is being safer here playing near his ledge? I think that's the better thing to do. Keep them paranoid, but don't overextend the burst bomb knockback. But I think they're gonna win this game if they can. Ryu has to cap it. I don't think they can do it. No two people are dead though. But Megora can definitely outpaint this with a missile if they don't lose it, but they do. Oh, wow. They're doing really well right now. What a weird game. Oh, the Zap Shark. Oh, he doesn't pop up on the... Damn. The opportunity was missed. The shot missing. Gets away with it. No way. The shot. Oh, my God. That's got to feel bad for that poor Zap player. Ooh, and the time is ticking down, but too dead. No, Melon taking a drink in the water. Melon is struggling. Also, this team is falling in the water or getting bumped in the water a lot. It is Snapper, but that happens. Ooh, a nice angle for Melon. Aiming down like that is so awkward. And Megora's on the flank again, but he's been a lot more cautious. He's still fragging out, but he's being much more careful. That, oh, the burst bomb. He's going to get some hits on him. But not enough there. And there's Nagora with the flying. Ooh, the ray on the uninkable. They know at least one person is there. There's the fight. They can't break the Booyah Bomb. And he can't jump out. They lose their own Booyah Bomb. They lose the left side of the map. The mini goes down. There has to be a hard clutch. But the shot has to just push in against the CJ. It's just going to stall time. He gets around him, but there's the wall. And that's the game with... They're doing a ball play. Let's go. Oh, oh, double? Ryu was one of the main people to push Ballpoint, get 3,000 XP, and run it during Ballpoint meta. Now he only uses it occasionally, mostly just flexes to whatever's good. But occasionally on the maps that are really good for it, we can see him go back to what seems to be his favorite weapon. Point. <laughs> oh my god, they're both sharking next to each other. Neither of them know they're there! <laughs> what the... Both of them just had the same plan. <laughs> oh my god, that ancient almost got the kill. We're seeing a T-Tech in Grand. Let's go. Knocked him off for the ancient there. They have an ancient. They need to come up big here. Huge shot, but it's too far away. They have to track the zap. They can push them all away on the left side. There's a huge pick. They have to outpain it, and they do. Me and Nine in a lot of sync there. With that ball point putting so much pressure. Here comes the inkjet. They're gonna flip zone, but they didn't really force a lot. Oh, they got the splash at least. That's good. But they didn't force a lot of specials. That's what they've been doing such a good job with. Resistance has been a nice job holding specials to have stuff to push in with. They have that armor jet. They're getting ready to use it, but he might not even need it. I think he might still use it, but he is able to pick clicks without it. What a nice kill from the splash there. And they weren't, they did not have to use it. So now, if they can use the inkjet to get a nice stagger, that'll be huge. And in fact, he's gonna just snipe the ball point with burst bomb. If he can use it to clear them off the glass, it can make it such an awkward final fight. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. The ball point has to play to hold glass. He has an armor, but he gets knocked off. And the other person on glass goes down. They have to fight on the low ground. It's a too disadvantageous a situation. They have to try to get a pick, but they're not getting it, even with them being aggressive, and they're up two to one. Megora's so flexible, dude. Not just between the splalings, but everything. It's crazy. And already we got a good ray. And it's just awesome to see a player with that amount of flexibility. Stuff like Splatling, C-Jet. I know it's not super off meta, but I'll take a little bit. I think they're able to hold till they come back. Black Belly is a map where you can stall for respawns decently well when you hold control, and I'm really hoping we see that played correctly here. 
Ooh, nice burst bomb. Hit three shots of that outside burst bomb. We'll get the kill. Ooh, what a pick. What a double. Oh my god, he could have gone for that triple too, but he'd rather hold the position, which is totally fair. He jumps out anyway, so damn, he's on the flank. Another nice kill, dude. He's so smart with that Nautilus there, setting up. Has the baller ready too. Nice kill from Nigora. Ooh, there's where that baller comes in handy. They're still holding. The main thing they need here is not to lose zones. They, if they can win this fight, it's so huge. But that means not losing zone flip and having to work to another penalty. But, ooh, it might be hard. It's so tense and back and forth right now. Both teams not, not really being able to get a huge lockout right now. There's the big Ray. Ooh, and a nice kill. Igor is just holding this, dude. He has been sitting in their snipe the whole game. <laughs> Look at the positions. Oh, as I say that, he dies, though. I was about to say, they have them entirely encircled in mid. And they still kind of do, but nowhere near as strong as before. Oh, that burst bomb snipe onto the rail. He's trying to push up to the siege. Yeah, two of them go down, though. He just has to stay alive. He doesn't need to get a kill here. He just needs to stay alive behind them. I don't think he wanted to go for that. He can hold this and take enough attention. It might be worth it, but the suction bomb. The jet needs to stall zone. He needs to use double burst bomb to stall. There's the Ray fight coming out here. Amazon in a better position. Ryu not able to get a lot of value off of it, but at least keeps the Ray from killing his team. He's able to pressure the suction launcher, but not get a pick. One shot off. The shot goes down. It's a paint battle. Megora with the pick. It's just a splash. There it is. 3-1, to one, they take the victory. What a run. Nice job to them. Well, I don't know if the English cast will be up, but I'll definitely be uh, uploading the VOD there if it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a bit of a longer video, but it was cool to watch. And yeah, NA might not have won, but third place is still very good, and the team they lost to won the whole thing with the same score that they did, which is a pretty impressive run. So congrats to Resistance. Nice job to Agodono for second place and nice job for Starburst for tying for third. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.